hi, and welcome to Cat Run Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and... I'm Carrie Man Mark. Mark's been drinking, but uh, we're going to film a haul. <laughs> so, uh... I haul things around all day. Shoosh, Mark. So, I, uh, I went and I checked out a number of different shops around here, and I think I found some pretty great stuff. So, let's get right on into it. I delivered to different kinds of shops. Shoosh. Okay, so first is X-Men issue four. So this is the first appearance of Omega Red. I was pretty excited about that. Next, I picked up Spawn number nine. So this is the first appearance of Angela. That's a cool cover. In comics. I actually have a couple copies of this, but it was a pretty high grade and it was a pretty pretty decent price so I had to pick it up well there's yeah. no spine tick so I'm pretty excited <laughs> pretty excited it's a it's a lot nicer than um, another one of the copies I have so I was pretty excited when I found that next I picked up the new Avengers issue 11 yep it's another Ronan <laughs> I'm I'm really lucking out with these. This is my third one. So I was very excited when I found that. Next, I picked up The Amazing Spider-Man issue 265. So this is the second print. This is the first appearance of Silver Sable. I do have the first print of this, but it was the second print. I ended up getting it for a dollar, so. Why not? I wasn't going to leave it there for a dollar. I wouldn't leave anything for a dollar. <laughs> Quit talking. Quit talking. Next is the Uncanny X-Men issue 221. This is the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. So, pretty great copy of that as well. Next is Superboy issue 9. So, this is the first full appearance of... King Shark. I actually have several copies of this and several copies of the Zero issue as well, which is the first cameo appearance, but I found it for a dollar, so I was not going to leave it. Hey, when you say Superboy, can you get like a really high-pitched voice? No. Please? No. Be like, Superboy! Will you quit talking if I do it? Sure. You promise? Yeah, but you gotta hold the comment back up. Do you up. kinky promise? Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Okay. So this is Superboy issue yes. <laughs> nine. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Okay. Now that we can move on. Um, next is Captain Marvel issue one. So this is the second series for Captain Marvel. And this is not my Captain Marvel of choice. My Captain Marvel of choice is actually Shazam. But, um, you know, it's still a really great book to have either way. Definitely something I was pretty happy to find. Next, I picked up Electra issue one. So, I love the cover, by the way. Loved the cover. Next, I picked up Cable and X-Force number one. And I fell in love with this cover. I mean, anytime I see a lineup cover, I'm like, yep. Yep, I needed it. It needed to be in my collection. Next, I picked up the Avengers. Um, it's either 47 or 462. I'm not going to lie. As far as the Avengers go, I'm not the most well-versed. But... I loved the cover. I always love couple covers, and it's a cover swipe for Gone with the Wind. I love Gone with the Wind. I love to torture Mark by forcing him to watch Gone with the Wind with me. It is so super long. He always falls asleep. I always get to smack him. It's a lot of fun for me. It is the but, best three-hour nap I've had in a while. But I just thought this was a great cover. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to have talk. it. No, you're not allowed to talk. You pinky swore. Darn it. Quit talking. Just drink your drink. 
Drink your drink and be happy. <laughs> Next is She-Hulk, issue 30. And once again, another great She-Hulk cover. I'm having a lot of luck finding these awesome She-Hulk covers lately. They're just gorgeous. Um, next, I picked up She-Hulk issue 20. Another great She-Hulk cover. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, you know how they have uh, Howard the Duck uh, trapped in a world he never made? Well, it's Stu the Human. I wish there was a Stu the Human book. I'd read it. Is there a Stu the Human book? Comment below and tell me whether or not there's a Stu the Human book. Because I would love to know more about it. If I keep talking, you're probably going to stew me. Next, I picked up Guardians of the Galaxy issue 25. So this is part of the Black Vortex storyline. And, you know, just a great cover for both Magic and Gamora. And, of course, you know, Angel's just kind of there trying to stop the fight. Hopefully, I, I don't know. He's probably trying to pick up on both of them. You know, that's how Angel is. And I gotta tell you, just a great cover. Angel looking f scared and uh, magic just looking like a badass. Gamora looks really cool too. Uh, and last but certainly not least, I picked this up just because I was at a family function here recently and we were talking about kids and... We actually got on the subject of the story. I do not own this cover. And I was like, you know, I need to go find this cover. So that's Spider-Woman issue one. So this is her when she is still very pregnant. This is before she gave birth. Just an awesome cover. Definitely something that after having that conversation, I definitely needed to get my hands on it. So... I was very excited about that. So, yeah, that's it for this haul. Um, as always, guys, give me a like. Uh, if you like this video, comment below and tell me um, whether or not you want any of these books. If, whatever. Tell me, tell me if there's a Stu the Human book or if there is a Howard the Duck book where they go a little bit more into Stu the Human. I think that'd be hilarious. Uh... Subscribe to my channel for more combo content or check out any of the older videos I have up for offer here on Cat Run Figures. And until next time, I'm your host, Caitlin. Bye.